वेलकम टू साइंस इजी टेक चैनल नसिंग मेड इजी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव्स व्हिच कम्स अंडर यू नीड टू स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम बिफोर मूविंग ऑन टू द टॉपिक इफ यू आर न्यू टू साइंस इजी टेक चैनल जस्ट टेक केयर मोमेंट टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड आल्सो टू प्रेस द नोटिफिकेशन बेल आइकॉन इन ऑर्डर टू गेट कनेक्टेड विद आवर लेटेस्ट updates let's move on to the topic research objectives what is research objective an objective should be clear concise and declarative statement we all know this so research objective also should be clear concise declarative statement which provides direction to investigate the variables under study so research objective is a clear concise declarative statement which provides direction to investigate the variables under study let's move on to the importance of objectives so importance of objectives so it gives direction to the researcher in order to find out solution to the problem without objectives the researcher will become aimless and directionless he won't know what to do how to do and in which direction he has to proceed in order to find out the solution to the problem without focused objectives there will not be any future uh, replication of the scientific findings and uh, if you want to replicate if you want to replicate the study in another scenario with another set of population or with larger sample size or with a different methods of research methodology the, you may not be able to do without a specific objective then this objectives will help us to measure the variables and it also summarizes what is to be achieved in the statement of the problem then it answers uh, to the research questions the objectives will be answering to your research question or it helps in testing of significance or testing of hypothesis so these are the importance of objectives let's move on to the characteristics of objective so remember an acronym smart an objective should be smart s means specific m means measurable a means attainable r means realistic t means time bound so it is smart s is specific m measurable a attainable r realistic t time bound it also should be the objective should also should be relevant feasible logical observable measurable so the characteristics of objective it should be specific okay it should be measurable it should be attainable you should be able to achieve it it should be realistic okay it should be realistic then it should be time bound so within a time period of time these objectives are achieved that is within uh, it can be short term objective or it can be long term objective so other characteristics are it should be relevant feasible logical um observable and measurable need for objectives an objective it should be focusing on the study okay you should not deviate from the main study so you should focus on the study and you should avoid unnecessary data and you should organize the study to organize the study and to give directions to the study so to focus on the study to avoid unnecessary data to organize the study and to give directions to the study so these are the need for objectives next to moving on to types of research objectives moving on to type of research objectives you have general objective and you have specific objectives so whenever we are talking about objective there are two types of okay it is general objective or it is specific objectives so what is general objective what is specific objective general objective or broad goals specific objective or narrow goals general objectives are expressed in general terms that is what the researcher need to achieve as a whole okay so what is the final outcome of the study you will be telling in general objective but specific objective the same general objective is divided into smaller sections or smaller logical parts that is called as specific objective so let me explain with an example general objective a study to assess the effectiveness of heart application on arthritic pain among osteoarthritic clients attending orthopedic opd in bird hospital tirupati so here what a the general objective is to assess the effectiveness of heart application on arthritic pain among osteoarthritic clients is the general objective okay to assess the effectiveness of heart application whether it is increasing or whether it is decreasing the pain that you are assessing so this is the general objective so 
for this general objective so this is in a wider part or it is in a broader part so you have to set specific narrow goals that is specific objectives let's see what is the specific objective so to assess the pre-test level of pain among osteoarthritic clients so you are doing an experimental study one group pre-test uh, post-test design or cause experimental study you keep it so in such case what you are doing you have to do pre-test level of pain among osteoarthritic clients next to assess the post test level of pain among osteoarthritic clients next to compare the pre and post test level of pain among osteoarthritic clients then to associate the post test level of pain with the selected demographic variable so in such a way you can frame some specific objects these are some specific objectives so, uh, so so when you are finding out all these uh, specific objectives uh, then you will be able to find out the result for general objective. So general objective is very wider in sense whereas specific objectives is very narrow in sense. Hope this video is clear for you all. If you still have any doubts please feel free to post your doubts in comment section. My previous videos link I have given in description box as nursing research and statistics playlist link. If you like my video, please give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel. Thank you friends.